Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Pretty cool one for you today. We've got a new bike to look at and test ride. Vitas Mythique VRX, the brand new updated V2 version of the bike. It's like a short, aggressive little trail bike. And I really enjoyed the last version or the first version they came out with. I've got my hands on one of the new ones. I'll take you through the spec and then we'll go and take it for a ride and see what it's like on the trails because it's completely redesigned from the ground up. It looks really cool. As you can see, it's this cool British racing green colour. Really smart, completely brand new frame design. So this is fresh out of the box. Literally just built it up about half an hour ago. So I haven't changed any parts on it. I've put my preferred grips on it, which are the nice fat Bergtec grips. I quite like these. And something new, well, not new, but something different for me. We're going back and trying flat pedals out because I used to ride flat pedals years ago and haven't ridden flat pedals for maybe five or six years. I got myself some flat pedal shoes and would like to try them again. Should be quite interesting. We've also not changed the tyres yet, so it's got Max's high rolls on here and I'm going to put some WTB tyres on here. Mud hooker, obviously. Shorty on there. We've got the Z2 Bombers and I believe these are 140 mil travel. The RockShock Deluxe Shock on the back, which is 130 mil. Looks pretty smart I minute. Mean, it doesn't have a lockout or anything on it, which is, might be a bit of a downside. But other than that, we've got SLX gearing with some race phase cranks. I think that looks like a 32 tooth chain ring. Oh no, 30 tooth, so it's going to be quite good for climbing, I would imagine. Nice big ring on the back for getting up steep climbs. And see if I can give you some more detailed shots. Look at the handlebars, they've got neat proof neutron handlebars. These are currently at 780 mil wide. I've not chopped these down yet, but my preferred width is probably about 750, 760 ish. We've got Shimano Dior brakes, which they don't really have much adjustment on. We can adjust the lever reach in here. They're a real basic brake, but they feel really solid. If you use the Shimano's like feeling and bite them, they're decent. Shimano Dior shifter in there, which I don't think you can, oh, you can do multiple shifts on it, which is good. 50 mil stem. Brand X drop post. Again, I've never had a problem with these things. I think that's a 170 drop. Probably would be nice to have a 200 on there. External cable routing, which is a good thing. The one thing I'm not a big fan of on some bikes is internal cable routing. It can be an absolute nightmare if it hasn't got the guides inside the frame so you can just push cable through. That's why I like externally routed cables because you can work on bikes a lot easier, you can get access to cables easier, but for like a entry level trail bike, which this is, this is perfect. And you can put a bottle cage on here as well, which is great. I mean, there's loads of space there for a big 750 mil bottle, I would imagine. We'll just spin the bike around. So have a quick look at the other side. Shimano disc brakes. I guess it's a 160 mil rotor, front and rear. That would probably be an upgrade I'd be thinking of doing straight away. Bigger rotors, better stopping power. I guess we've got 170 mil cranks. A bit more of the details there, you can see. Paintwork is really cool. Like the color is fantastic. So that's a bit of an intro to the bike, the spec, what it looks like. What we'll do now is we're gonna get changed, get a helmet on, get some riding kit on and our flat pedal shoes and we'll go up into the woods we'll hit a few trails and we'll see what this short travel trail bike is like because i've not ridden a short travel trail about this for a couple of years now since the last mythic was out so we'll go do that so it's the next day we're out on the mythic it's literally sunny look this is scotland in january and it's actually borderline like warm first thought just riding down this cycle path the bike rolls really fast like noticeably faster than my Summit or any other good bike I've got. So I think that's just the short travel and the 20 iron wheels. It's the top of the first climb. Bike was really fast up the hills actually. And because of the 32 chain ring, it was quite good on some of the steeper, more techy bits of track. We're at the top of the first trail. It's a blast.
Whoa! So that was interesting, that was quite a fast trail with corners in, not too steep. I think I need to lower my saddle a little bit. It was a bit too high then. The bike actually felt like it wanted to go faster, so I don't know if that's because it was the short travel on the suspension, but it felt a little bit twitchy for my liking. So I think I'm gonna slow the suspension down a little bit for the next run, because that was uh, interesting. The bike just literally wanted to try and go faster. So I was having to, you know, maneuver it around a little bit more. Cut my cheeks are like the same color as my uh, jacket. This thing climbs like a beast. We'll go up for run number two. Second trail. Whoa, skating around a bit. Struggling for grip. So run two, bit of a faster, tighter trail that one, a bit steeper than the last one. One thing that stuck out to me then was the grip and me struggling to slow down. Whenever I was coming down and setting up for corners or even just steep bits of trail, and I was trying to grab a little bit of break and set up and get my line right. The tires, I felt the tires were a little bit hard. And I don't mean the pressure in the tires, I mean the actual rubber. Uh, so these tires that come on the bike are Max is higher roller too, so I've not actually had a chance to change these. My preferred tire is a WTB, but if I just jump over and show you, we've got EXO higher roller twos, which I think is a thin casing high roller with a slightly harder rubber, so it's like got more rebound. I think that's why I'm struggling to slow down. Whereas, if for example, I had some tires with slower rebounding knobs on them, I could run them a bit softer as well because they'd probably be thicker. I think I will be able to find the grip a lot easier. So that's my feedback on that trail. Did you ride the Mythic? Did you ride it? You want to give your feedback into this? Speak into that? Give the audience what you think. Fantastic. Fairly impressed by it. The bike comes with, I believe, 140 mil travel on the front, 130 on the back. And I think some of the models also have 130 front and back. So it's kind of like an aggressive, all round trail bike. I took it up some of the more aggressive trails at the Golfy here today. On some of the steeper trails, it was a lot different than riding, say, the Summit, which has 170 mil travel on the front, 160 on the back. It was um, a lot faster bike, and I could notice that considerably. So that is obviously probably a combination of having the full 20 nano wheels, the harder EXO tires, also the short travel nature of the bike. So I did notice the bike wanted to go faster. It wanted to carry more speed. It was a very interesting and different contrast to my other bikes. Second point on some of the steeper trails, it was a little bit intense because of the short travel nature of the bike, still just as capable as I was expecting it to be. With Just with having a bit shorter travel, you obviously get a little bit of a different sense of feedback than you would on a bigger bike, say on my Summit, where that is more like sits into its travel a lot more. It's a lot more of a softer ride, if you like. But it's, it's not designed to do the same thing, in my opinion. You'd have a Mythique, for different reasons you'd have a summit. But overall, I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed how fast the bike rolled. A couple of upgrades that I would probably make to the bike, you may want to consider if you're gonna get one of these bikes, is I would probably get some thicker tires on it. So I probably would have some downhill style tires on it. Maybe the bike wouldn't roll as fast, but I felt with the tires that came on the bike, the, the rebound in the tire was very, very fast. And you could feel that on the trail because it was only they're only like cross country tires. So maybe at a trail center, for example, which is where I didn't actually ride the bike, it probably would be absolutely perfect. 
but for more steeper trails, quite more demanding tracks, then was a little bit out of its depth because of the tires I felt. Having different tires on will probably fix this and it would be just as capable. I would like to spend more time on the bike setting the suspension up. I didn't really do any suspension setup on the bike at all. I literally jumped on it, put the pressure in that was recommended and tweaked it a little bit, just adjusted the rebound how I like it, but didn't really do any back-to-back -back testing of like what was faster, what was slower, or anything like that. This is just like an intro to the bike and what I first thought of it. Let's talk about price for a second. You can get one of these bikes, the one I was riding, for just over £2,000 as of making this video which is insane and it's probably the perfect bike for beginners or people just getting into mountain biking or people maybe looking upgrading from a hardtail to a full suspension bike I would say or if somebody wanted just one bike to do everything say in the UK and they were doing loads of trail center style rides maybe some like more adventurous mountain biking this would probably be my go-to tool to do it because of how lightweight the bike is the short travel just gives you it's like an element of playfulness actually but obviously the suspension still works fine and this is Suspension is a definite improvement from last year's bike. Last year's bike of the V1 version of the Mythic was a good bike. This is even better though, because it's got a steeper seat angle for one. It's a little bit more of an aggressive bike, so it's better on the steeper stuff. It looks better, in personal opinion. I think it looks amazing. And it's kind of in line with the suspension platform that the Escarp and the Sonnet have. So it comes in a range of colors. You can get the bike that I have, which is the VRX, and that comes in that's really nice. British Racing Green. And one thing I will tell you, the colors of these bikes look way better in person than they do on the website. So if you do kind of like the look of the color of the bike, but you're not too sure of what it would look like when you get it, you won't be disappointed. Like this green, as you probably see on this video, it's like a British Racing Green. It's a really, really standout color. Oh, it's like subtle bit standout-ish. They've got a red bike as well, which is the Amp. Comes in 29er. A little bit more expensive than the bike I have, the VRX, but it's probably got a little bit of a better spec, you could argue. It's got pike forks on there, Schwab hands damp tires, and, and a Magic Mary, which is probably where I think you're gonna see most bang for your buck with a tire upgrade. They also do the VRX in a 27 as well. So if you are preferring that smaller wheel size compared to a 29er, there's options there for you. But the VRS, that lovely white color, that could be a really cool color if you're looking at customizing your bike and putting some different parts on it. Because obviously white kind of goes with everything. That comes in both 27, 29. And then the VR, which is, you literally can't argue with these prices, 1,600 pounds with Shimano Dior drivetrain, same tires I have, the high rollers, X-Fusion suspension. Overall, it's such a good entry level do it all bike. I mean, even the statement here, an aluminum trail bike redesigned to shred harder and tackle more. And I think that's probably a statement that I can agree with after the first two days of riding the Mythique V2. There'll be links in the description below if you wanna go and check out the bike on CRC or Wiggle. If you have any questions about the bike, drop the comments below. I will get back to you. It is a very fun bike if you decide to go forward with. I will be riding mine a lot more. See you in the next one.